So once again, good afternoon everybody. Thank you for joining us here today. My name is Bruce Gemmell and I'm the Chancellor of the University. And on that basis, it's my responsibility to guide us through this memorial service. We're honoured today to have members of the New Zealand Police Force with us and they're here as representatives of all emergency services. Now I understand there are members of the press here today and I ask that you respect our community and our people and act with the dignity associated with such an occasion. Look, we're here today to remember those of the Canterbury community that either passed away or are fighting for their lives as a result of the incomprehensible events of last Friday. But specifically we're here to acknowledge those members of the Lincoln University family that have been affected by this tragic event. Now I refer to those whose lives were taken, those whose lives have been broken, and those of us who are suffering. In a moment I'm going to ask Dr Dion Payne to lead us in a karakia, and immediately following that karakia, I ask that we observe a minute's silence before the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Bruce McKenzie, addresses us on behalf of the whole university family. Following this, Christy Havel, the President of the Lincoln University Students Association, will address us on behalf of the students. And then to conclude, Dr Payne will say another karakia before I ask you to share kai with us and remember in our own way. But before I pass over to Dion, I'd like to remind all those present that Lincoln University, with its very strong international cohort, has a long history of inclusiveness, of tolerance and of love. And with this in mind, I ask Dion to come forward. Assalamu alaikum. Tēnā koutou katoa. E mihi ana ki a koutou katoa nā whānau whānui o te wharewānaka nei, ara te wharewānaka o Auraki. E mihi aroha ki ngā whānau pani o ngā tūpāpaku e takatoa ana. Kei kona te aroha me te whakāro ki a rātou mā. Nō reira, kia ino i tātou. Let us pray, and if you have a copy of our prayer, please, please say it along with us. E tō mātou matu i te rangi, ki a tapu i tau ingoa, ki a tai mai i tau rangatiratanga, ki a me te a tau e pai ai ki runga ki te whenua, ki a rite anō ki tō te rangi. Ko mai ki a mātou ai anei, he taro mō mātou mō tēnei rā. Muru o mātou hara, me mātou hoki e muri nei i o te honga e harana ki a mātou. Aua hoki mātou e kauea kia whakawaia, engari e whakoorangia mātou i te kino, nau hoki i te rangatiratanga, te kaha me te kroria, āke, 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 āmene. If we can bow our heads for that minute silence. Thank you. 
Good day, my name is Bruce McKenzie and I'm the Vice Chancellor of Lincoln University. Before I start, I'd like you to look around, have a look at each other. I'm, I, I'm serious, have a look around. You're looking at the Lincoln University family and you're seeing lots of diversity. And you're gonna hear the word family quite a bit during my address and during Christie's address, and you've already heard it from the Chancellor. We're small enough that we actually are a real family, and let's keep that in mind, please. In my 39 years in New Zealand, and my 37 years at Lincoln University, never have I even considered that one day I might be offering my Lincoln Fanel words of con of comfort just a few days after a senseless attack on my family. In a few minutes you'll be hearing from Christy, our LUSA president, and she's going to talk about family. And her words perfectly explain why I love this institution so much and why I love the people at Lincoln University so much. We truly are a big family. We love each other. We always look after each other. We care for each other. We embrace our diversity and our many cultures. When I first came to Lincoln University, I was welcomed with open arms. And it's something that I have always remembered about this place. I've taught thousands of students and I've supervised about 50 masters and PhD students from 16 different countries and I've always loved the academic discussions but even more than that the social interactions with both undergraduates and postgraduate students that that actually happen at Lincoln because we're small and because we are a family. For some of our family members to be attacked because of their religion it's inconceivable to me. I do not understand it. This is absolutely not the New Zealand that I know and the New Zealand that I love. To our Muslim students, staff, family, and friends, I promise that Lincoln University stands right next to you. We will help you. We will support you through this, the most difficult time that I can imagine. We value having you on our campus. You bring a knowledge, experience, hard work, friendship, and your culture, and your religion, and your presence here makes our campus a better place and makes our family much stronger. We share your grief at this time, and we will do all we can to help with the healing process. The university is providing emotional, physical, and practical support for all families that have been affected by this attack. We do know that the recovery is going to take a long time, and we ask that all staff and students come together to ensure that those who require support receive it. Please, 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 if you think a student or a staff member or a family member needs support and is not seeking us, let us know. It has been very difficult over the last few days to find out what's going on and we're gonna need your help to make sure that everybody that needs support gets that support. This was an attack on all of us. We will remember those who we have lost and we will remember those who are fighting for their lives and we will pray for them to be healed. We will grieve with our families and friends and we will help where we can. I'd like to end with a very quick thank you because over this past weekend, we had a wide range of 
uh, health services staff, admin staff, communication staff, many faculty members who were working tirelessly over the weekend to get our services up and running. So we had a center, a drop-in center running both Saturday and Sunday. And we will keep these services going for as long as they are needed. So thank you to our staff. And I'd now like to hand over to Christy Havel, our LUSA president. When I sat down to write this, um, I'm not going to lie, I, I didn't know where to start. And um, if I'm being completely honest, I'm not actually sure what you want to hear me say. Um, there's been so many phrases, so many hashtags, so many quotes over the weekend, uh, so many sources I could draw from. But uh, as your peer, I figured that you would want me to speak with honesty and sincerity not to be politically correct or bureaucratic, but to speak from the heart. First and foremost, to our Muslim brothers and sisters. I mean every word that I said in my statement on behalf of LUSA. If you didn't see it, the words were, to us, you are not just students, but you are our family. We are all one whānau. And I continue to speak passionately now when I say that this university would not be the same vibrant and diversified campus that it is without the beautiful culture that you contribute to it. It is an absolute privilege to share a campus with you, to share the classroom with you, to break new ground together every day as we embark on this university experience together. Please know that we all stand with you at this time. While we may not know the full extent of what you are feeling, please know that your pain is our pain too. That we are hurting with you and there is nothing we wouldn't do to help you through this ordeal. We will sit with you, we will hold you. We will hug you and we will hold your hand. We will do anything that we can to ensure that you feel that this campus is a safe and welcoming place that you can always call home. We are proud to coexist here with you and we wouldn't have it any other way. To the wider student population, I'm now speaking directly to you. This is not just an attack on those who affiliate with the religion of Islam. This is an attack on your own family. And there are times when we get so pumped up and motivated to make a difference in this world. But for some reason or another, that energy fades not long afterwards. This is not one of those times. This cannot be one of those times. It's on us now. Once the memorials and the tributes and the vigils are over, that is when the true fight begins. When we must strengthen our resolve to make sustainable and everlasting change to contribute to creating a better world for all. We must not arm ourselves with hatred and with weapons, but with compassion and loyalty, friendship and love. Many of those that we have lost had been living in New Zealand for, since before we were born, and they all called this country home. They are not migrants or refugees or outsiders. They are New Zealanders. As their fellow, fellow countrymen and women, it is our duty to stand with them and rise above. He thought that he could break us, divide us and drive a wedge between us. But he was wrong. He doesn't know who we are as Kiwis and as residents of Canterbury. Earthquakes couldn't defeat us and this won't either. So on this day, remember those that we have lost and stand together as students of Lincoln University. Because it's not my Lincoln and it's not your Lincoln. It's our Lincoln and nothing and no one in the future will ever change that. Koto, uh, we're going to say a closing prayer. So if you have the words, please um, say it along with us. At the conclusion of that prayer, we're going to sing a waiata, he honore, he kororia. If you have the words, then please also follow along. 
but I will ask Makura and Huata to come help us sing that song when it comes to it. Let us pray. Kia tau, kia tato katoa, te ata whai a tō tātou ariki a ihu karaiti, me te aroha o te atua, me te whiwhi ngā tahitanga, ki te wairua tapu, a ke, a ke, a ke, a mene. some refreshments just over to this side I understand so if you would like something to eat or drink please come and share that with us thank you very much